Master Ken here with another Secret Street Fighting Tip. For some people, Father's Day is like St. Patrick's Day or New Year's Eve. It's just another excuse to get drunk and fall down the stairs. But there are men all around the world who fulfill their paternal duties as loving husbands and fathers while still managing to do those quirky dad things like guarding the thermostat or sending text messages in all caps or falling asleep in church and ripping a fart as loud as a chainsaw. That's why today's video is for all you dads out there. I'm gonna teach you how to defend yourself with the most common gifts that are received on Father's Day. This video is all about Father's Day self-defense. All right, so if we dig into our Father's Day gift bag, one of the most common things we're going to find is deodorant. How can you use deodorant as a weapon to defend yourself? Well, there is the obvious plastic packaging of said deodorant. You can use that to strike to the eye, the temple, the nose, the throat. What I would recommend is actually using the deodorant itself inside, okay? Where you can just extend it to whatever length you need. You can reach around and hold the opponent's eyes open. Graze the actual eyeball. You may not think that that is a very effective thing to do, but if you don't, just try it. You just hold your eye open and just... Oh. That burns. The next thing you could do is possibly make them pass out by using the deodorant just like a uh, cloth covered in chloroform. You just hold it right under the nose. Or you do that for an hour, hour and a half, they are going to pass out from the fumes. But you can actually shove it in their mouth and force them to bite down on it. Because if you ever bite down on some deodorant and chew it, it is gonna make your stomach upset and the taste is not pleasant either. I mean, this, I haven't had this particular flavor, but yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible. Well. The second most common gift you're going to find in your Father's Day gift bag is a necktie. A necktie is the kind of gift that says, Please stop embarrassing me. You can use this to defend yourself in a variety of ways. First off, you can use it as a distance weapon, okay? I can stand back here and just, okay, right to the face. Whipping right in the eyes, throat, nose, what have you. You can also use it to block and tie up the arms of your opponent. He throws a punch, okay, block, tying up, throws the other punch, I can tie his arms and legs together. That is a move that comes from a style known as BDSM, which of course stands for block, disarm, strike, and murder, I guess. What I would recommend instead is to consider tying the tie and then using that against your opponent. You can go with any kind of knot you want. You can go with a half Windsor, full Windsor, St. Andrew, Nicky knot, Bibby Bob, Chimichanga, whatever kind of knot you want. But you're going to be able to put this around the neck of your opponent and tighten it on the throat here pushing into the Adam's apple, cutting off circulation, the carotid and subclavian arteries here. And you can still do a double whip into the eyes. Okay? You can still whip it, whip it good. And then you can just grab the tie and just run with it. Just whip. Practice those techniques until you perfect them and you will be known as a Muay Thai fighter. And finally, the most common gift that you're going to find in your Father's Day gift bag, socks. They're the kind of gift that when you give them, it says, I find you boring, yet necessary. Variety of things you can do. If you ball it up and you just want to lightly strike your opponent, you can strike them with a couple of rolled up socks. You can separate them and do a windmill kind of effect here, okay? kind of striking and disorienting your opponent. You can give them a little sock puppet show. Hey, what are you gonna do for Father's Day? I'm gonna hit this guy over here because he's attacking me. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Can I watch? Of course you can. Now, aside from the very effective sock puppet option, there is also the most lethal option when it comes to using socks, and that is creating what is known as a slapjack. You just basically take a heavy item, it can be some coins, it can be a soda, 
you just drop it right in there and take him to the sock hop, you know what I mean? You just use, use the weight of the weapon and boom, okay? Just striking here, right across the face. You can strike to the solar plexus, strike to the groin, strike, 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 strike. Then you can take him down. And as always, restop that groin. Once you're done, have yourself a Coke and a smile. <laughs> Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. I'm Master Ken. That was another Secret Street Fighting tip. Us. Thanks for watching our video. Remember, you can order your own personalized video message from me, Master Ken, by going to Cameo. So whether it's a happy birthday, or you want me to tell you, or your instructor, why your martial art is total bullshit, go to Cameo and order your video message today. And remember, always restop that groin.